Liam Plunkett. Uh, I work Major League Cricket and I'm the National Development Coach. Uh, so my first question to you would be, uh, obviously World Cup winner, England player, known all around the world. But if I'd have said to you 10 years ago, what do you know about US cricket? I'm assuming you wouldn't have known much. No, you're right. <laughs> Since signing on with Major League Cricket in 2021, Liam Plunkett has served MLC as a coach and ambassador, bringing credibility to Major and Minor League Cricket and bringing a bit of professionalism to his Philadelphians team. On July 2, 2022, the Philadelphians came to Church Street Park for three games, the natural wicket and pristine ground perfect for the debut of the league's most famous player. Philly were 1-0 coming into the holiday weekend, having steamrolled the New England Eagles at home the weekend before. Philly had hopes that a successful three-game trip would go a long way towards securing their first ever minor league cricket playoff berth. But to get off on the right foot, they'd have to first beat the Morrisville Raptors at their own ground. That is the word from the middle. The Morrisville Raptors, once again, they win the toss and they've elected to bowl. The wind gusting at Church Street Park as we welcome you back here. And we're going to see Aditya Badala continue after getting a wicket. Oh, this oh. one looks good. Yes, it is. This one, there's no doubt about it, Karima. It's pitching in line, hitting in line, and I think impact hitting middle and off. And it's going to bring in the man that's been attracting quite a show, attracting a lot of attention. People texting me all throughout the day. Is he going to play? Uh, it's Liam Plunkett who's come in alongside Jonathan Fu. Here we go. Liam Plunkett taking guard at Church Street Park. Uh, we know he's a big power hitter who can come in. He's coming at the tail for England's national team. Aditya Badala to Liam Plunkett. What can he do? And straight away, run down to third man, past third man, and it's going to be four all the way to the boundary. That's the experience that Liam Plunkett brings. Philadelphia earned a reputation in 2021 for winning close games with the bat, narrowly missing out on the playoffs. Already loaded with big hitters, the hope was that Liam Plunkett would make a big difference in the bowling department. But in his minor league debut, Liam was intent on showing that his bat was just as dangerous. And Liam stopped the bleeding for Philly and helped guide the team to 145 for six. Rowan Funke put in a great dive, but it was just too, struck too well. There was no shot for Rowan Funke out. Coming off of a final ball victory the night before against the New Jersey Somerset Cavaliers, the home team were fired up and confident. But you can't take anything for granted at Church Street Park. It was anybody's game as it so often is under the lights at the crown jewel of American cricket. We are here set for the Morsel Raptors to open the batting. Look who's opening the bowling. Liam Plunkett extracting swing in the air back into the left-handed. Lehiru Malanta. That is exciting times. I know everyone in the crowd is very eager and excited to see this international world-class bowler. When the swing there is just over pitch. And Lehiru Malanta is not going to miss out. Doesn't matter what kind of bowler you are, he's going to send that one for four all day long. So Liam, having not played for 13 months, bowler. Oh, look at that nice delivery! Swing. This is a, a definitely exciting stuff to see again live and in person at Church Street Park. This time, goes shorter. Lehiru oh. chips it. He can only pick out. Hey, he picks out Syed Abdullah out there. Liam's strong start with the ball helped stifle the Morrisville top order, but a late surge by local USA U19 star Abraham Bolasetti hinted at a comeback. He's got all of that one, and that was going all the way. We told you he's got all the shots in the book. All the shots in the book, and that's everyone's favorite one. <laughs> everyone's favorite one, the slog sweep. Definitely the, the bowler that they would want to target. Nothing against Anarudo Manuel, but this time straight back again. I'm sorry to cut you off, Nate, but that's one bounce over the boundary. He's taken a liking to Anarudo Manuel. And the World Cup champ would bowl his fourth and final over in an attempt to snuff out the kindling. Philly may have got their man, but the fire was still burning. Orvis Pinar and Kezi Archibald put the Raptors on their back late in the game and smashed their way into striking range. Over back to his team, bounces right in front of their dugout. 105 for the loss of five after 17, need 41 from the last three. You kind of got to wait and see, don't you? Let's see what happens. This time, clears the legs again, but this time he got a bat on. It wasn't wide enough. Colin Archibald with another six, keeping the Raptors in it. 
Don't go anywhere, Churchy Park, we're just starting. Oh my goodness. Yes, he does, it's short, it's it straight back. I don't think Milan Kamar can get there. No, no. another six. We know the power of Colin Archibald, and he's cheering up this Morseville crowd. The kids delivering it back. Here we go, Sharan Shubatia. Again, short, this time Archibald gets onto it. Has he cleared it? I think he has, he's done it. He's bound to get on one of these eventually. He got away with the first two. This time, not gonna get away with it. Last over was expensive, but what, it was only when he was bowling to Archibald. What can Obis do? Moves across, oh, he's got onto this one. I think he's made the gap. There's all the naysayers wrong. He hits a four to start off the innings. It was only a matter of time. Whoever's above, Drysdale comes back in. This time, oh, he's down the leg side. That's well too easy. There's no doubt about that I one. That was and they do it in day two. Again, under the lights at Church Street Park. It's Noy Drysdale. He's running in to Obis Pinar. Nine from the last four. Again, Obis, back-to-back -back fours. Again, steps across. This time, straight down. That looks to be another one. There it is. Obis Pinar put on the floor. He's in the con box here. He's in Nate Hayes right on the knees. He had to get up. We're celebrating over here in the comms. Wow. It's like this is a season's worth of excitement Absolutely. all in two games. All in just two games at Church Street Park. We got two tomorrow, two on Monday, so it's not going to stop anytime soon. Here we go. Obis Pinar. He's hit three fours in the over, but Drysdale's gone very nice with the slower Yorkers. He's going to go back to it. One from three. This one's slapped. Has he got to the boundary? Needs the boundary. No. He's going to carry. They're running to. Stands up a super over. Doesn't get back. Is he in? He's in. And it's going to be a draw. And that means that we're going to have a super over. Oh, wow. Guys, we thought it couldn't get more exciting than yesterday. No, it's more exciting now. Obis Raw with the dive. Mario Rampersard with the presence of mind to not allow them to come back for a third. And just like that, we had ourselves bonus cricket. And we look at the crowd, they're so tense. Uh, we see a couple of TCO youth players, former TCO youth players out there, and again, everyone just you can you can cut the suspense with the bottom map right now. They're just they're so on the edge of their seats. What a move! Oh, it's Karima Gore Karima with Gore. the ball in hand, not Liam wow. Plunkett, not Dry. Full of secrets all night long. Absolutely, they kept out Bate, who could have been an option as well. An option, right? Flat in the air, keeps it on stumps, very difficult to score off of. And also, Obis Pinar did not have a liking to him. Maybe that's the strategy. That they know right. Obis right. is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Keep him on there. Here we go, Karima Gore. Oh, and how is that missed the stump? So it was oh angling it all the way, what just misses off stump, but it is Jordan. a dot. Yeah, Most importantly, it is a dot. Beautiful to ball. The, the overall pressure on the Morsel Raptors. This one again angled into the pads. He's not able to get any bad. They're going to go off of a leg by. And it's only one to start with a dot and a single. Again, Obis did not really find a liking to him today. Try something innovative, only one on offer. It's been a brilliant over. He keeps it out of that little paddle sweep that we see Obis Pinar do oftentimes. And Colin Archibald, he's the one having the biggest shots, but it's all been on pace. And just an inside edge. Is it going to be one? Is it going to leak to the boundary for four? Oh, it is going to leak to the boundary for four. Enough bat on, enough pace off Karima Gore, and the crowd is loving it. A boundary, you need one in a super over. Fine leg for four. Four runs come up there. This one is it. Oh, that's, that's going to be six. Oh, my goodness, that's a shot. What a shot. It's six. That's 12 runs from the Super over so far. Here we go. Karima can't give up a third boundary. It's straight back. It should just be. It could be two. could be four. No, it is just going to be two. Yes, they're going to make two up in the end. And they're thinking about three. No, they're not going to get three. Smart work from Mario Rampersad. And that's going to do it. That's 14 runs. Another super over in minor league cricket. It's Archibald with the ball, Kumar with the bat, and it's top edge up in the air. It's not going to find a boundary. Is he going to take the catch? No, he's going to fall short. Make sure you stop it. He does, and it's going to be two runs. Is there backup? There is. So two runs to start off of a top edge. So not the way you would have wanted it, but the way you'll take it if you're Milan Kumar. That means you need 13 from the last five. Here we go. 13 from five. Colin Archibald again with the ball. Kumar with the bat. Oh, creative. But it's only going to find fine leg, and he stopped it. He's done well, and he's kept it to one. Good, good fielding there. Good, good effort. He didn't have a big day with the bat in the first innings. Can he have one now in the super over? Oh, he's ball! Oh. Colin Archibald with the Yorker. Panted. You can see he's gone up in excitement. That's why they've gone to him. It's the experience. It's what he can do with every single variation. With every Here we go. Colin Archibald. Can he hit one more Yorker? Or can Jonathan Fu redo the magic from last year? 
A straight back. Oh, oh what a foot. He put his foot down. Had he yeah. not, I think that was storming away to the boundary. Keeps it to just one. Great stop there. That was unbelievable. You can see smile off Jonathan Fu. He knew how firmly he struck it. Colin Archibald can't bowl a no ball. Remember, he bowled one earlier in the first innings. Can't have a replicate of that one. Here we go. Comes in. It's falling straight up in the air, though. I don't think he's got quite all of it. No, he hasn't. Can he throw on Tefatke? Yes, Rowan has won the match. And that's it. The screens, another hard clinching win for the Morrison Raptors. They're up in a lace. Oh, my God. He was gosh. storming in from long off. Takes a brilliant catch running in. Pass on the back, and he's bumped up. That was a heck of a run. Sprint full speed ahead. And to catch the ball when you're sprinting full speed ahead like that, it's a very difficult thing. Didn't need to come down to all six. They got two wickets. In minor league cricket, weekends are loaded with games, so you can't afford to have a long memory. And on holiday weekends especially, you've got to be ready to bounce back from early disappointment. The Philadelphians would be right back at it on Sunday, this time against the Cavaliers. Division rivals eager to show what they're made of after tough, close losses. Another great Why start with the ball for the Philadelphians as they lost the toss and, uh, and were sent in to bowl first here at Church Street quite often, as we saw it against the Raptors and such. He goes for the big reverse sweep, big appeal, and the finger's given. Looking for something indeed special. That one just evades. Bold. Oh, the finger was lifted. But Richard Allen was in a hurry, scoring 67 from 33. It'll always be easy. Let's see how he closes this out. This time more flight on offer, and it's just over the top of the infield. There's going to be another four. Two pie in the first ball <laughs> of the game. Ball a full toss. Shocking bowling. Well, Richard Allen continues. Richard Allen gets it going again. He's not going to slow down for anybody. That's a four down the ground. Got off on the back foot very, very quickly. The Philadelphians really the only problem. The thorn in the side of the Philadelphians today. And there's the top edge you're looking for, Dane. It was slower in the air. And Mario Rampersad never going to make a mistake. Easiest catch of the day. With Allen out of the way, Philly slowed the bleeding, but the Cavaliers would go on to post 163 for nine. But again, yesterday bowling super over, so there's a lot of faith. Oh my goodness, that's a big shot. The windshield's in fun. No, windshield is safe. Just pummeled that into the side screen. Touch too full. How does he respond? Comes down the track, and he's been bowled. If he missed it, it was always going to hit. He slowed it down, and Asif was through the shot before it ever got to him. Catch it out. Never going to be a mistake. It was a full toss there. He found another outside edge. Syed Abdullah, Milan Kamar, and Kareem Agor were in fine knock and helped Philly compile the runs, keeping pace with the Cavaliers. But for Syed Abdullah, and that's why that one's hit out there. Didn't matter if you had 11 guys there because that one's over the top of the infield. The outfield has hit the light pole. It's over the fence over there it's as well. This time, well down the leg side, short again. He's able to push it it's behind the corner. Not a great delivery. It spun back a touch, but not enough to create any problems for Syed. What a shot that was from Kareem Agour, fresh to the crease. That's a second delivery, and the second delivery gets sent over Cal Corner for six. This is over that it has to be bold. This one up Not in the air, delivery. and it was wide, it was short, and he split the gap out there on the offside. It's four runs, but here we go. Second delivery of the over, Najaf Shah coming into Kareem Agour. It's hit straight back down Good the shot. ground, I think he's going to go all the way. Good effort there from the fielder, but he's just not quick enough. It was hit firmly, struck firmly, straight back. This one short wide, should be put away, and it is. Looks like it was one bounce over the rope. That is a signal from the umpire. Again, he's bowled a couple of those, and all of them have been punished. This time came down the track. Has he been stumped this time? Yes, the finger has been raised this time. No mistake from Abhishek Prabhu. Heading into the final over, the Philadelphians required only seven runs from six balls to win. Kareem Agour Ball. goes full straight. It's a great delivery. It's hit straight back, and that is going to be 50, but they're pushing for two. Jonathan Fu is going to get back. Kareem Agour. Oh, oh, my goodness. And he is out. He gets 50, and he's run That's out. Massive. Najib Shah didn't touch the ball. It was a great throw in from the deep, and you can see he's hurt himself oh, on the process, no. which is not something you want to see either. But Najaf Shah was at his best for the Cavs, and Philly could only tie the game. His head, and he squeezed it out. Are they going to push for two? 
It looks Super like over. Jonathan Vu shut it Super down. Super over. Jonathan Vu <laughs> shut it down. Liam Plunkett was eager, and that's it. It is going to be a Super Over. Consecutive Super <laughs> Overs at Church Street Park. After putting up only six runs in their turn, Philly were staring their second straight Super Over loss in the face. going to be at least one. They should push for two. Got to go back. Got to go back. Throw comes in nicely, but it's away no, from the stumps. No, not a good throw, unfortunately, but yes. And it's Shandabal Hemraj and Mr. Xavier Marshall to come out and try to get these runs. Again, for Philly, they're a good fielding side, but a lot of pressure now. Again, seven from six. Maybe Liam will try and ploy a wide sort of slower ball, breaking away from Shandabal Hemraj, but here we go. Here we go, indeed. It's angled in. It's a Yorker. It's a good start. Out well, and it is just going to be one. So again, six from five. Here we go. And the tactics on full Wide display Yorker, here. Yeah. They're going to try to get Xavier Marsh, maybe just to flay a couple down to Drysdale, the deep point. Interesting call. to see if they don't get two from this. The call for a wide Yorker. Oh. It's straight. There is a mid-wicket they put in place. They're going to push Long for two. Area. That's one. Just one. Game on still. Again, the Philadelphians very sharp in the field. They're quick to get the ball in their hands, quick to get rid of it as well. <laughs> They're scared the coach might just fling a, a beam at them. <laughs> Liam Plunkett into Hemraj. He gets a hold of this one. Has he got all of it? No fielder there. Oh, and he takes it. And it is the dot ball you're looking for. It looked like Hemraj might have gotten it at first. Mario Rampersad with a jump. He's picked out. It looks like Jonathan Fu in the deep. Face off. He has a big decision to make. Who's, who's going to follow him? Might be Richard Allen. Looks like it. You think about yourself. You think about how execution is. The captaincy. Gray has come. All for protecting runs. Here we go. Five from three. It's Bang. again a full toss. Mid no wicket is there. Again. And it's just going to be one. Five from two. Good fielding. Again. Brilliant fielding. Brilliant. Like you said, the throw right on cue. Let's make a call here. What do you think? Inside edge four? <laughs> <laughs> I think that would Chop be. Chop onto the stumps. Top edge to side Abdullah. What's the call? Everything is on offer here, Dan. Maybe it's an off cut Malinga style to Shadul Thakur in the one IPL final. No one saw that slow ball coming. No one saw that slower ball coming. No one saw that decision to come so quickly either. Exactly. Or a doubt. Or maybe a dodgy wide call from the umpire. <laughs> it all could happen. <laughs> all happening at the moment. Oh! A ramp shot there. Has he beaten oh! the man in the deep? Blydell's got there. He has. They're going to push. Is it a chance? Is it a chance? Oh my goodness! I think he's That's out. Oh, he's giving That's it! Done. And that is the I'm match! Lucky. Richard Allen! Allen. Richard Allen could not get in! I'm not sure about the call, but that is the call. Richard Allen could not get in. And this time, the Philadelphians on the right side of the Super Over. They are celebrating. Liam Plunkett delivers a beautiful over. Dane, what a match. What a match. What a game of cricket. A fantastic, fantastic spectacle here at Church City Park. The two games this weekend, both in Super Overs. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Uh, not really. And that was kind of like a uh, tense moment, pressure. And we pulled off the, the second one today. Uh, I've been in a couple of Super Overs, but uh, I've not uh, I've escaped ball in the last over. But uh, obviously being a senior bowler here, uh, I asked to do it. I asked to do it. I got asked to do it. Uh, so I, I was happy to, to take that role on today. Yesterday, uh, I thought we actually bowled well in Super Over with them guys, played a few good shots and also then you chasing a high total, which we didn't quite get, but uh, it, it was a good game. Uh, it's good competitive cricket and that's why I came here to help push that. Uh, obviously, I'm playing here with, with a good group of guys who are very, very uh, skillful, uh, but it's just we're bringing uh, some good cricket knowledge and hopefully I can help these youngsters through and we can keep winning and hopefully uh, see some uh, silverware at the end of this uh, tournament. The Philadelphians would end the weekend with a loss to Atlanta Lightning, but that will be nothing more than a footnote compared to the unprecedented thrill of back-to-back -back Super Overs. And the next time Philly is in town, you can expect to see more magic under the lights at Church Street Park.